What is up, bro? Welcome to another OBS quick tip. Today, I want to show you how to set up your hotkeys so you can tab from one scene to another with just one button like I'm going to do right here. All right, so now that we got all that going, it is super simple, super easy to do all this. I want to show you how to do it. But first, I'm going to go into this um, overlay over here so you can see everything that's going on right now. So right now, you can see all of it, all of my OBS right here. And uh, I know you got kind of got the inception going on there, but that's not what we're worried about. We're not worried about anything in here. We are worried about stuff right in here in settings. So first thing, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the settings tab. You go into the settings tab. This, this is going to open right here. And then we want to go into hotkeys. And so for all of us that don't have a, a stream deck or anything like that, that has software to do this, we can just go into this stuff into here and set up our own hotkeys for every source, every media, everything we want to do it so that we can go from one tab, just click one button and tap onto it. Whether you want to make your numpad this, so you have it on your keyboard and just make your numpad or you have something from before, like I have this Razer Tartus, Tar, Tartarus, Chroma that I used to use uh, for gaming a long, long time ago. And I've had it forever and I couldn't find a use for it until now. So what you're going to want to do for say, if I want to do a start streaming, actually stop, start streaming, stop streaming, um, whatever, uh, start recording. If I want to add one here, I'm just going to click add right there. Oh, sorry. I'm just going to click right there and then I'm going to click uh, the, the, the key I want to use. So for now, if I want to start streaming and I just want to use shift, I'm just going to click right there and now every time I click shift we're going to start streaming. And so I'm going to remove it because I don't like having a um a start streaming button because that could you could click start streaming when you don't want to start streaming, but uh it could definitely get you into a lot of different things. Uh for instance, if you want to switch from screen to scene right here, I have it that shift plus 4 gives me a a switch to a scene and all that is mapped out on my Chrome on my uh, Razer Tartarus Chroma but if you don't have that you can map these buttons to your numlock to anything like that and that'll get you to be able to switch scenes with just one click of a button so for instance right now if I just click this button right here I can switch into the intro which you guys saw earlier uh, that would be this button uh, but if I want to go back to where we are right now I just have to click this button no nope. Nope. Where's my gameplay button? There it is. That's my gameplay button. I'm sorry. It takes a little bit to remember which ones go where, but it just takes one thing. So to go back to recording where you guys would see me full screen, I'm actually going to add one right here, right now. I'm going to click right there and uh, I'm going to add it. I'm going to make sure that it is this button right here. Caps lock. Every time I click, 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 eh, click caps lock. I'm going to go back to recording. I'm going to hit apply and I'm going to hit OK. And now every time I click caps lock, it's going to go into the recording tab and you'll be able to see me in full screen. It's a great way to do stuff like this uh, to be able to get your stream uh, in the palm of your hands on your numpad. That's 10 number keys that you have right there that you can uh, put in that you're usually not using for anything else. So I really recommend you do something like this. It'll help you out on stream to be able to tab in and out of different things so much quicker and so much easier. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tip on how to set up hotkeys for your stream. And we'll be back soon with another quick tip for OBS. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye. We'll